Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Eric. And we're with the Sourland Conservancy. And we're here to show you how you can attract more butterflies, birds, and make a nicer landscape by transitioning your mowed lawn into a beautiful native landscape. Over time, these native plants in place of your lawn create more shade, sequester carbon, reduce pollution, reduce flooding, and attract bees, butterflies, and more birds to your property. So we have a sunny dry site here. It's a little bit upland. So we decided to use black oak. We have Carolina rose, and we have little blue stem to put in here. Here you see we've laid down an approximately six foot in diameter circle of cardboard. Now at home, if you don't have access to cardboard like this, you can easily use newspaper. Our cardboard luckily was provided to us by Sarah Land Cycles. Thanks, Mike. Next, we thoroughly wet the cardboard and cover it with wood chips. The wood chips will help hold the cardboard in place and act as mulch as the cardboard decomposes. Wood chips are free and plentiful in our area, especially right now. Contact your local arborist, ask your neighbors, or even try chip drop to get some chips. When you're ready to plant, push the chips aside. Make plenty of room because you really don't want wood chips to fall into the hole. You can use a shovel or a utility knife to cut through the cardboard. Dig a hole that's a little larger than the pot or root ball. I like to pour a little water directly into the hole. So when plants uh, arrive to us from the nursery, they come with their roots tightly packed in the pots. Massage the roots out like Rob is doing. You can kind of just bang the plant on the ground. This doesn't hurt the plant. It's actually good for the plant to get the roots all separated before it goes in the hole. And you're gonna wanna mix the native soil with the existing potting soil a bit. To simulate forest soil, we have compost and we have leaf mulch. You don't need to amend the soil or add fertilizer. Native plants evolved to thrive in our local conditions. Now we're gonna continue planting to provide food and shelter for birds, butterflies, and other wildlife. Here's a really pretty shrub, the Carolina Rose. This is a native rose and has really pink pretty flowers and pretty orange hips in the late summer. Even though the Carolina Rose is much smaller than the oak, you still want to massage and work the root system so they don't ball up into themselves. When we plant a tree, we don't want to just leave grass all around it because we want to support the full life cycle of the butterflies. When you plant a tree in the middle of your yard, then mow around it, you're likely killing caterpillars that are staying around the area when you mow. Instead, we're going to make a nice space for those caterpillars, moths, and butterflies to spend the winter so we'll see more birds and butterflies next year. In addition to providing important habitat, strengthening our ecosystem, this garden will reduce stormwater and flooding, filter drinking water, and reduce air pollution. Here in the Sourlands, overpopulation of white-tailed deer poses a real problem for native saplings. So we're going to install a tree tube to protect our oak for a few years. We could use fencing or repellent spray, but tree tubes are relatively inexpensive and easy to install. So when you're putting your top tie on, you want to make sure that you only get the tube and the stake because a lot of times um, it's easy to catch the tree as well. And if you do that, you'll actually kill your tree as you're trying to grow it. Even deer resistant plants are vulnerable to deer at times, especially when deer are young, they are adventurous and will try anything at least once. So it's safe to use deer protection like this, a little basket in this case for such a small plant. But in general, uh, deer fences are the best way to go. So just place that over your plant for the first year and it'll be inaccessible to hungry deer. Please visit www.saraland.org for more stewardship and tips on helping support your wildlife.